This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. I'm Roberta. And I'm Duca. And together, we are on the mission of bringing this sailboat that was neglected for over 22 years back to life. So, don't forget to subscribe and to join us every Monday for a new episode. Time to start assembling the sails! First step, lace bag in place. We're going to install the lace bag because the main sail is really, really heavy and new, so it's hard to, you know, bend and uh, fold in the top of the boom without it falling. So we're going to install the lace bag first. Time for the front part of the job, going up the mess, I'm gonna <laughs> install the lines. So these are all ready, I just need to go up and pass two lines through two blocks on the second spreader and we are good to go. These are from my climbing days. <laughs> old maybe, days. <laughs> old days, yeah, like 15 years ago, maybe a little bit longer. More. Yeah, like 17 years ago I used to climb with a cousin of mine, I just started doing other things, but I still, I like a lot, climbing is so much fun. Next step is to install these cleats on the mess to hold the end of the line. But of course, we don't have everything we need, <laughs> as usual. We and have just came from the store, but yeah. we didn't buy this one. Yeah, we just came from the store. We actually, we came from the screw store. We do have the screw for this, but we don't have the uh, mail, you know, the, the little thing to create the, the thread on the surface. For now, it's on hold. We don't necessarily need to have this. We can just tie somewhere else. Uh, we are gonna work on the gas bottle now because we have news. Check this out. We finally, after months, bought our gas bottle. bottle. <laughs> yeah. So now that we have the gas bottle, we know exactly the dimension to create everything on the locker. You know, we want to create protections because we have a metal boat and if the bottle keeps is scratching, the surface is gonna create rust. So we need to have like rubber on the bottle, maybe EVA on the sides, on the walls. But now I have the bottle to take measurements. Yeah, we'll Everything. see, we'll see. Let's I get to work. That's the beginning of boat life. First time! Ah, it's better than I thought. I can't wait to have this installed and to have oven and stuff. I don't know if you remember, but we are living at my sister's apartment because we don't have oven and stove and everything on the boat. But soon we are gonna have it. Hopefully by next week, that's the idea. We are just getting the boat ready so we can finally move in because we are planning on set, setting sail in like two weeks, two and a half weeks from now. So we need to get at least the base working. How many times you are saying that we are going set sails in two weeks? Not many times, set sail, <laughs> not many times. We are trying to set sail, I mean, uh, leaving yes. the marina and leaving on the anchor. That's the idea. After we set sail, the idea is to stay on the anchor. But first we need food. Without food, yeah. you know, without shower is fine. Our shower is not working properly yet. But we don't need showers, but food, we do need food. Let's get ready.
more. See you. Good morning. What's Good morning. happening? <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out what you're gonna do with the gas hose. I'm trying to take the old one because it's really, really hard. It's been sitting here for I don't know 20 something years. So I'm just cutting in pieces and trying to slide the new hose in place. So this go one needs to go through a conduit here, all the way to here, and then around, and then to the bottom of the oven stove. It comes from the gas bottle locker that's right here. Comes through the side. I'm gonna try to tape them together. If something goes wrong, that means we lost the guide, and I don't wanna lose lose the guide. Should I risk? Yeah. Let's do this. We did it! Much, much easier than I thought. That's a good step. The other good news is... <laughs> I have lights! <laughs> So basically before we used to have two valves, one here and one here. And one outside with the gas. Doesn't make any sense, like it's just one more point to fail. So we decided that one valve is enough because if you have any trouble you shut off the valve here and if you have any trouble you go outside and you shut off the valve. The hose used to go all the way around and then through here and then to the conduit. So now if we take this valve out of we can go straight and then we can have the valve here because here we're going to store things and we don't want a valve where we store things here we don't want to we probably not going to store anything it's just like a technical area so the valve is going to be here i think it's like we did that's pretty good i think it's gonna work yeah, it was a little bit stuck before we took out, and now it's much better. And, and much cleaner. <laughs> much cleaner. And this is what holds in place if we need to. Next step, we wait for Fred. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> we got really close. We we have the hose on the stove already. We are gonna go. We are going all the way up already. We just want to make sure how much hose we need. He has a lot more experience with gas. He, he works, works with, with yeah. This. He works with this, so. He's gonna tell us where it gets hot, where it's dangerous to touch the hose, where it's not. For now, let's do something else. What are we gonna do now? I think we can install the radio. The radio? I, I can go up the mess. I need to install the antenna for the radio and the, the radar reflector. That's it. Let's go. <laughs> nice outfit. <laughs> just getting ready. I forgot the main thing. I'm gonna put the antenna and I, I wasn't gonna bring the antenna. So we need to install the VHF antenna on the top of the mess. Can, can the camera see my hands? If the image is not good, who bears fault? Sorry. In advance. <laughs> me that long it's amazing how such a stupid thing took me so long the auto fusion tape wasn't working I bought a new one and the the, the back part that you need to take out of, off wouldn't go off it's just like and just <laughs> I need to go up again to see with the old tape because the new one is just not working I, maybe it was an old stock or something it's just not working good I never seen that before Af after like 20 but minutes yeah at least we can try the VHF before we seal it because after we seal oh yeah you know, good. it's harder to, it's to change anything if we need. Yeah. That's good. You know, some bad things come for good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't forget, this is just a temporary connection because we still need to finish this panel in order to finish this one. So there is a fuse here. I'm just going to connect straight to the battery and see what happens. Positive. Negative. Remember, this is just temporary. We're just checking if the antenna is fine. And then we're gonna do the final connection on this panel. Let's hope it works. Mm. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> First time we see you, my friend. You're alive. Let's see. <laughs> so 
There is a warning sign. <laughs> yes. So, supposedly we are Channel on. 16. We need the antenna, otherwise. Yeah, that this would be is great. Moving. <laughs> We're gonna try to talk to Fred on his boat. Okay, nice scooter. Nice scooter. Nice scooter, Duca. Perfectamente. Great, great, great news. Yeah. Fred went to the radio room of his marina <laughs> and talked to the guys because his radio wasn't working. So now that means we do have a radio working, the antenna is properly working. But I think it's much better if we install this side panel in place because if we go sailing, I don't want to have the radio just hanging from somewhere. But in order to do that, we need to trim this part and trim this. It's it's a little bit of wood working. Yeah, we glued already, <laughs> but we need to trim. So this is the last panel. We need to trim this one and then trim the corners. If you're curious on how we did that, you can watch the video where we we did this one and this one. This is perfect. This panel is going to be for exterior light and for electronics because if we have that, everything we install new is already definitive and that's much better, don't you think? Yeah. Let's do it. So I didn't have time to film this because I, did, I needed to do it in a hurry because we are leaving the marina to set sail in two weeks and I really, really want, I really hope we can have a shower, outside shower in time in order to do that we need to do a box because here is the salt water and fresh water and we need to have a shower box to have the shower inside and this is the template with the hose to lock it here and also with the hose on the bottom for these two pipes and we're gonna give this to Reginaldo and hopefully he can do the magic and build just the box not it's not gonna be ready but at least I'm gonna have the fiberglass box and then when we reach our next destination I can stop and work on that and I can install this Let's hope so. <laughs> Let's send this to Hitch now. Time to go up again. Time to go up again. Just in case. Successful if I'm still recording. Yeah, I'm still rec <laughs> that's pretty good. So the radar reflector is in place. That's pretty good. The VHF antenna I didn't show you, but I went up and I see it, it better, and it's working now. We have a VHF working, and now we're just waiting for a friend that's gonna come. I think you guys met already. You remember a few episodes ago that a couple of friends came to pick up our old autopilot. Yep, they are actually in town for the past two sure. months. I sure. think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they have a, a sailboat called Touche, and Touche is on that marina, on MCP. Yeah. And they are coming because he is gonna help me to tie up the forward stays because we want to install the Genoas, hopefully, and also the main sail because he has a lot of experience racing boats and he knows much better the right tension. The moment has arrived. We are gonna measure all the things to order the sails. What's the plan? The plan is to take three of these little cars, batting cars, off. We are waiting for the sails, the sails we already measure and we already have all the designs. And North Sails said that we don't need all these batting cars, that with less three it's gonna be 100% fine. And for us it's gonna be a lot better because that means that we can reach much easier the top of the lazy bag. That's gonna be much better. Nothing is that easy. 
never ever <laughs> we heard that this week uh, the guy from the next boat said nothing is that easy for a sailor <laughs> so that means that we thought we were just gonna slide the car to here but this won't let that means we need to take the boom off so that's the trick this is a really important tool that we created. We cut a small piece, a small trim of this track. And whenever we need to take one of the batting cars off, we slide this into position and we slide the batting car here. Otherwise, you're gonna lose all the spheres that, you know, the little balls inside of the batting car. That's fury, of course. We've never done that before. Hopefully, we're gonna manage to do it properly. It's a tricky moment. Mm -hmm. Hmm, one is off. Yeah, put one right in front of the other. And then we slide without letting go. Yep, we did it. It's amazing this is. It's so cool, look at that. <laughs> We're gonna save these as spare pieces. If we have any problem with one of the batting cars, we can use one of these three. Hope we never need to use this. Yeah, but it's always good to have a spare. <laughs> we're gonna travel. Today we're gonna travel four hours by car because, because, because. You're gonna see our sails. Oh, mama, mama, I was looking for a better place for down the road. Place that can give hope back to her lives. This is actually the Genoa, this is a huge save, huge. Surrounded only by my thoughts And I know the diamonds keep on going No care how fast the wind is blowing I got a look to get me to the storm Oh But now I need to check how big is my foot. <laughs> 29 on the smallest direction. That's the short direction. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's just the bottom of the sail. That's the long direction. Mm, that's like huge. 16 meters, I guess. I'm sorry, 16 meters, I guess. <laughs> so hot today. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> it's a secret. So the idea today is at least to put the main sail up and if we have time we're gonna tie up the Genoa stays and put both Genoas up. That's that's the idea. <laughs> it's already getting there. It's all good. We can work during the night. We have light on the mast. <laughs>
main sail? Check. We can go sailing already. We just have one sail. <laughs> we but don't now have we need wind. To, yeah, we need to trim both stays, forward stays. And then if we have time, we're gonna host also the Genoas. Fred came to help us with the gas locker today. Yes. Yes. And after twenty something years. Don't burn your finger. Ah, oh, we need test if we have some leakage. This is okay. Okay. Right, thanks so much. Let's get back to work. <laughs> Today we are going to install, finally, hopefully, the Genoa furnace system for both Genoas because we want to try the sales soon, hopefully this week. And in order to do that, we need to have the furnace system working. But before we do that, we want to take the time to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video and for making it possible for us to build our own website without any prior experience. Yeah, because it's Squarespace is a space that you can find all the tools to build our own website by yourself. Yeah, in the same place you can get your domain, you can build a website, you can build a blog or even a online shop. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah, right now we already chose the template for our site because they have so many templates and we have the perfect template that we think is a good fit for us and now we are just taking the time to build our own website, to go back to our old pictures and tell our old story because it's been a long time that we started this but we want to four put years. all to yeah it's been four years already <laughs> yeah we want to put a website together that on the first page anyone that goes in get to understand us a little bit better that's yeah. that's the goal and it's, it's been really fun and intuitive it's so easy to use the tools and if we can do that anyone can do yeah. so if you want to build a website a blog a store just head to squarespace.com for a free trial and whenever you're ready to launch your site you go to squarespace.com forward slash odd life question you can get a 10 percent discount on your first purchase of a website or a domain this is good this is really good <laughs> i mean it's it's fun to be able to share your thoughts and your story with the world and that's basically what we are trying to do trying to put together a website that you can get a little bit of the feeling of our intentions with our life because if you just watch the videos you might not understand the full picture yeah, yeah. but now let's go back to the furling system we used to have only one Genoa furler now we have two so the idea is to have this block here even and this other one somewhere close to it and then from these blocks would go down to these ones and then straight to the top. Gabby's here, our friend that's helping us to put the genoas <laughs> up. That's a really happy day. It's the first time we're gonna see our genoa in place. That's really, really cool.
It's pretty heavy. <laughs> this one is heavy. By the way, we didn't explain the sail setup because we're gonna go out and explain better, but we have a main sail that has, I I can check. write somewhere the, the area, the amount of square meters. And then we have a, a small Genoa that's a 100%, maybe 105, I'm gonna guarantee and write somewhere. And this one is 140. So 105, 140 plus a main sail. In the future we want to have a Genaker, but not yet. Step by step, baby steps. <laughs> the basic. You know? Yeah, slow, slowly we get there. We try these ones, we see how we want, and then we learn a little bit better, and then we get the new one. The feeling. Pretty good. We can say we are a sailboat now. <laughs> That's so different. I, it's the first time I look up. It looks so so different. <laughs> 